Okay, go ahead. Go to bed. Go to bed. Good boy. Go to bed. Good boy. Nice. Good job. He's been laying down staying for about 10 minutes so far. And we can have him stay for 2-3 hours. No problem. He doesn't even try getting up. So this is where I go, he goes. If I move, he moves. I did not tell him to follow me. This is just my assumed behavior that I want. Now, it's okay if he gets away from me. He doesn't have to be like on me or anything like that. But if he, um, you know, were to venture off and sniff or something, that's fine. And then I'll just tell him to come or leave it. And leave it would be because maybe he's gonna chase a rabbit or not listening. I asked him to come. Come would be, you know, just general, you know, I need you to come. And if he says, no, I don't want to, we move to leave it. And you never, ever correct the come. You only correct the leave it. So you're happy, happy, happy for the come. And if he doesn't listen, then he, leave it is going to be a damn, you know, I'm stern kind of thing. Come here. Come here. That's a good boy. Come here, come here, come here. That's so good. Yes, such a good boy. Good boy, you're free. He didn't say a word. I change, he changes. See how good he is? He's just the perfect boy. And then he sits because he's so good. Come on, good boy. Bear, come on. Let's go. So this is his off-leash healing. So as I'm walking along, if I really want him to stay close and I don't want him to, you know, lag behind. Come on, let's go. Come on. So see, I told him to follow me. He catches right up. So without a leash, if I need him to stay close, I'm just going to pat my side and encourage him and he'll catch right up to me. Good boy. Automatic sit. Didn't ask for it. That's just what's expected. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Right here, right in the heel position. And there's no words, no signal. He gets attention or he gets food. He's told he's so good for making good choices.